Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 17 of Let's Play Castlevania Circle of the Moon, brought to you by MudgeGames.ca. Now off camera, I've been very busy. Like for instance, I managed to get the Pluto action card. If you're wondering how to get that, just make sure you go to where you fought the Cerberus boss, which was the first boss in the game, and you'll find a candle that looks different than all the others. These are the different effects you get with Pluto. Like you get an item crash attack, your sub-weapon number doubles, meaning you can fire like two axes at once. You get your experience point gain increases by 20%, project an image of yourself, defense increases depending on the elapsed game time, so the longer you're playing, the stronger you get defensively. Sub-weapons use your MP rather than your hearts. You can move faster with Pluto and Griffin, and you can do like a little bit more damage based on the elapsed time. So, in terms of the battle arena, your DSS combination does not even matter. So, if anything, I'm just going to patch up this extra bit of health. Given that this is the only time I'll be able to use it. Figured I'd just get myself to full. And in terms of my equipment, since magic, or well, intelligence and luck don't matter, I should definitely put on stuff that's going to be good for my defense. So in other words, we're going to go with the Platinum Armor. My intelligence is going to drop substantially, but I won't even be using it. I should put a Strength Ring over here. Or should I, like, uh, put it over here? If anything, we'll just go with this kind of setup. And on this, I want to increase my defense. Star Bracelet could be kind of good for that. Uh... Cursed Ring? Maybe? I, I think the Cursed Ring may not be such a bad idea. But Arm Guard could also be very good. I think we're going to go with the Arm Guard. Like, anything that's going to make me more of a tank character will be better for me. And in terms of sub-weapons, I'm going to stick with the Axe. To step beyond will be to test your ability in the battle arena. Your mind power will be drained. You will not be able to use DSS. Once you enter, you will not be able to leave until all are defeated. Though you may be rewarded for you efforts. Obvious typo, but let's proceed. Okay, so let's just take this one at a time here. Like, you got werewolves and you got the were jaguars. If you know how the attack patterns are, you should have no problems. Also, there's no music for this area, so we managed to clear that without taking any damage. Hippogriffs and Cato Belpis may be a whole different matter altogether. Especially if you have, like, the li lingering uh, petrification mist. So once you take out the uh, Hippogriffs first, the rest is easy. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for that a bit. Oh, almost got hit again. That would have been dumb. Given that once you're petrified, you actually take four times more damage. Hey, he actually walks backwards. Good for him. Okay, got a few licks in, which is good. And there we go. We only took, like, what, one or two hits. This could be a little bit tougher. Because you got wind demons and you got witches. Many of which can do a lot of damage. Like, I, I take 69, yeah. Have some fun with that. From the uh, wind demons. Oh, yeah, this is going to be tough. Especially if two of them start attacking. I'm gonna have like... Oh god, there was still another witch there. I didn't even notice. Oh, this is not... This is not gonna be good. There's hardly anywhere you can protect yourself from that attack. They just keep on going. They're relentless. Oh, there it went. Okay. Down to, like, half my health in just, like, one room. That's bad. Very bad. Okay, so I did practice some of this off-camera. And if you go down there, then, well, obviously you can't proceed. And that's how you exit. Well, that's one of the first exits. But let's keep on going through here. Okay, this could be rough. Oh, yeah. 
Even though stone armors are early enemies, they can do a nice bit of damage to you. I gotta get rid of these devil towers, because they're gonna be a pain in the ass. Well, the uh, bottom two definitely will. Also, whip those rocks, that also helps. Yeah. Okay. I think we uh, simplified this room quite a bit. Even though it stretches on. Uh, oh, I could not move from that. I tried, and it didn't work. Game kind of like uh, screwed me over there. Okay, so there was only like one enemy battle there. Okay. Now, let's see where we go next. We go over here. Okay, that's that's a hell of a lot of enemies. Especially these. Oh, they can still reach from here. But the javelin skeletons are the worst. I didn't think they'd do that much damage. Like, well, skeleton spears, but still. Are, like, weaker enemies actually doing a lot more damage now in here? Because I know that skeleton actually took a little bit more da hits than normal. Because normally they die in one hit. That doesn't happen anymore. I gotta start taking a more safer approach. Oh, leveled up. Nice. Okay, that's gonna help with all the hearts that I used. Oh, this is not looking good for me. I've already taken a lot of damage. Let's see, how many potions do I have? Because I can use those. I only got four. Eh, better use them all now. Should have stocked up on uh, healing items, but they're hard to get. Oh, almost dodge every attack there. Oh my god, this is not good. Oh, this is even worse. Part of me thinks the flame demons are worse. Oh, and I'm dead. The worst part is it actually does count as a game over. So it's not like you just get sent back to the beginning. You just go back to your previous save point. That is mad annoying there. Because all that progress you've had is now erased. And you have to do it all over again. So, obviously, I'm not going to fare too well in the battle arena at all. In fact, it, it stretches pretty far down. I mean, look where one of the war points is, like somewhere in the very middle. And then look to the far right to that long room. And somewhere to the east that I never reached. Yeah, the battle arena probably ends somewhere around the bottom. Obviously, that did not work out for me. So... If you're wondering about the map, I did do a lot of this off-camera because I didn't really feel like doing it on-camera. Also, there's a good spot on the map that I completely skipped. Like, right in the middle. I should take care of that in my own time. But yeah, if you want to look for all the secrets and all that stuff, your map should look somewhat like this. The reason why I still only have, like, 94.6% of the map is... Well, there's still the final area where Dracula is... Not to mention the battle arena counts towards your map completion. So, yeah, that's definitely going to suck. I apologize for that one, but maybe, like, uh, in a few more minutes, I'm going to try this again. Be right back. Okay, several minutes later, I made it back to this point, just before the room that I died. Also, I did get myself to level 44, and I fought the devil. And luckily enough, the devil dropped the mirror armor. Which is much stronger than the Platinum Armor, which I already have five copies of. I put on a couple Curse Rings because they go really well with Strength and Defense. Especially Defense. So, let's hope this combination works out for me. If anything, I want to get rid of those Bone Towers. Because, you know, they're going to get in the way, for sure. Especially when I'm going to be dealing with so many of these Flame Demons. They have, like, two different kinds of attacks. That's what worries me. Once I take care of all these bone towers, then it's just the demons. Ah, damn it. That I gotta worry about. And 
They're already doing a number to me. As is. Damn. Okay, so no more bone towers. That, that works for me. Try to take out at least, you know, one threat at a time. The problem is that with the big fireballs, they're practically homing. Like they just go to where you're too. And you have little room to maneuver yourself. Okay, one's dead. And the attacks go away automatically, which is great. Okay, that makes things a little bit easier. I wonder what the next room is like. To be honest, I'm kind of worried. But, you know, maybe we can pull it off. Can't actually rest at all, so I have to go this way. Okay, fox hunters are not too bad. If anything, they're quite easy. I can just duck under their attacks, no problem. Well, that was no problem at all. I wouldn't really consider that, like, an actual enemy room. I could just squeeze on through. Okay, I can retreat if I wanted to. Should I do that just for the sake of, you know, recovering and stuff? I think I'm going to retreat and then come back here later. And then we'll continue where we left off. I can't do that, apparently. I thought this would just be another shortcut. So if I need to exit, I have to go all the way up through here. And that just sent me back to the uh, chapel tower. So, you know, it is a bit of progress lost. However, I do recover and I just, like, go back, save my progress, and then, you know, pick up where we left off. That kind of thing. That way I don't lose all my progress again. Because that would suck if I did. I have to, like, lose it all. Oh, well. So, I'll meet you back at the arena. Just give me a moment when I'm all saved and ready to go. Okay, I've returned after saving, so I'm still at the same level, unfortunately, but I gain a lot of experience. It seems that the enemies are stronger in the battle arena, but as a result, they give you more experience, which is nice. So let's see what we got to deal with here. Oh god, poison armors. Oh wow, bloody swords do a ton of damage now. Oh jeez, guys. Jeez, Konami. Jeez. Poison and all this is going to be bad. How many antidotes do I have? Oh, 13. I got like 25 potions, so I should just use a few of them. I should wait until I like get rid of most of these guys before I start, you know, using antidotes again. Okay, I think one is no big deal. I really don't want to go through, like, a lot of these so fast. But I may have no choice. So let's see what's over here. Okay, well, this is a simple room. And so far, so good. Let's see what the next enemies are. Oh, Abion Dargs. Well, jeez, I can just wait for these guys to die. I kind of wish I could increase my experience. I'm really missing that. No, I mean, get that 20% bonus, you know what I mean? 11,500... Okay, so I'm not getting that much experience. These guys might be lucky enough to drop some uh, healing items for me. Because that's something I could really use at a time like this. I just hate for them to drop it somewhere I can't reach them. Also, how, the, how many Abion Dargs are there in this entire map? God. This is crazy. Like, ludicrous, the amounts of Abion Dargs. And yet, I am trying to kill them all. Gotta kill them all. Castlevania. Unlike Pokemon. Alright, alright. Yeah, this is pretty much the point we're gonna return. Uh, marionettes? Oh god. And legion, so cursing will be a problem. Oh, I leveled up. That's nice. Oh god, there's way too many marionettes here. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna end up going through all of these. At 
Legions? Well, big. Ugh. Don't take up too much room. Well, they move around a bit slower. They kind of do take up a lot of room. Oh, oh, good, good. That actually helps. The more of these that drop cure curses, the better it is for me. Because then I won't be able to... Oh, you got to be kidding me. I won't be so low. But it is annoying that they just constantly just keep charging you. And sometimes you don't have enough time to react to get out of the way. I'm going to start using my axes more often. Good, 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 good. Even better. I think that's the last of them. Good. Okay, so we're just going to get a lot of hearts here. This is just like a standard uh, juncture. Oh god, minotaurs! Oh, shit. This is going to be bad. Where is the save zone? Oh my god, look at this! Look how many of these are! Uh. If they're all in sync with each other, that's fine. Because then, you know, I can just time this in all one jump. But this, this is... This is unbearable! This is some crazy shit. Oh my god. Is this even necessary? Look at this. I haven't even got one dead. Oh. At least I'm able to recover. But now I'm gone through like everything. Oh, this is not helping. Okay, one's dead. You know, like a total like flash in the pan. Oh, this is terrible. I have no more healing items, so... I have to be good. And that's not what I'm doing right now. Ah! Oh god! Oh, I tried. I really tried. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the battle arena. I mean, that that's just way too much. You practically have to be max level, and even then, you would have to grind for almost every single healing item. Almost 20 of each! And even then, you could still lose. This is painful. This is not up to my skill level. I don't have a skill level that high to handle the battle arena. So, I mean, I tried. I did my absolute best, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So, I guess in the next part, I say we just go straight for Dracula. So, see you later, everyone, and thanks for watching. Damn, that was, that, that was intense. I'm not going to lie.